I was kind of your traditional graphic designer. I was kind of that guy that was inside of Photoshop, you know, creating graphics and things like that. For friends and family, for the most part. And then when that company went gangbusters, we sort of, it was sort of on autopilot. So it's kind of like, you know, we're, we're just making money hand over fist, not much to do. Looking at the balance sheet, it's like, we've got these few expenses. How can we get rid of them? Um, some of it was just boredom, you know, it's kind of like, what, how can I contribute? You know, if, um, and we had a programmer that was full time. And so I just sort of learned programming just for the simple reason of offsetting that cost. I had no training in it. You know, I'm, I come from a sort of, uh, um, art, arty type family, I guess, you know, more artistic. And, uh, but when I sort of learned programming, it just stuck with me. You know, it was like, I'm a natural problem solver and always sort of lean towards math and science. So it was just amazing to me that you can sort of spend time writing code. And then it was in the end, something so much more powerful than yourself. You know, it was like, like the, I remember the first time I understood what a sort of for loop allowed you to actually create from a you know um, even just simple mathematics to also iterating and you know generating web pages and things like that so it's like I remember my mind sort of like oh my goodness like these languages are so powerful um, and that's what sort of planted the seed and I of course you know I think one of the reasons why I sort of or went down that path is I was also very good at it so um it's always a good combination when you really like it and you're really good at it. So um, since that day, I've really just dropped anything to do with graphic design and just been sort of your core engineer. And because I was always involved in startups and things like that, um, I got a really good sort of um, breadth of knowledge when it comes to developing an MVP and then also scaling it sort of the hockey stick growth that companies go through. And that kind of became what I was known for is just helping companies get the MVP and scaling it to sort of the next phase of their company. Um, and that's what I've been doing for well over a decade now. Um, so that's awesome. kind of where the bug was. And that was in high school. So was, and in the early 2000s, like, you know, I mean, PHP was in its infancy back then. I, I can't even remember the version back then. But um, yeah, that was in the days of like coding and Dreamweaver and stuff like that, which is people probably don't even know Dreamweaver anymore. Adobe but, product. Uh, yeah, yeah. They had a nice suite of products back then, you know, so Photoshop was was pretty killer, too. So yeah, well, I, I use all Adobe stuff for the video creation, so um, nice. I'm, I'm familiar. But no, I love that. You know, something that is fascinating to me about that story for you is that it seemed like like programming, that skill set was a means to an end. You had a very clear uh, end goal is either to save cost or it was to be able to build something really cool or you had this power that you harnessed. Um, it wasn't necessarily like, Oh, I'm gonna learn this to because I'm fascinated with the the individual parts, right? The for loop mm -hmm. allows you to do bigger and greater things, and once you realize that power, that's an incredibly cool feeling. It's incredibly motivating. You're like, wow, the the world is in my hands once I once I understand this because I can build almost anything that I want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's very eloquently put. I mean, that's that's exactly what I was sort of after. It was, it was always the end game. And there, there's times when you're like, you're inside the actual language, you're building a class or function or a method, and you're kind of like, this is this is not super fun, but it's like necessary, you know? But then you see the end thing and all the things people can do, and it's really just amazing. So I, I love chasing that feeling of, of putting an MVP in a customer's hands and sort of seeing them light up and be like, yeah, you know, like it's exactly why you did it is to make their life easier or allow them to see something differently. So it's an amazing feeling.